The single responsibility principle states that a class or function should have a single reason to change. That is, they must have one job. Let's see an example of a class that does not follow this principle. As you can see here, we have this service class and we have this add entity method, which as you may guess, is going to add an entity into a database. And here, as you can see, we're doing some validation. We're using a extra procedure to add the entity to a database. And also we are sending an email. As you can see, this function has several responsibilities, which makes it harder to maintain, test and understand. Therefore, we're going to create a new class that follows the single responsibility principle. As you can see in this new version of the add function, what we're doing is that we're putting the validation logic behind a service, also the data access logic behind a repository, and the same goes for the email sending logic. In this way, now our function is more maintainable. Also, it is easier to understand and test. Follow me for more Donut content.